I first fell in love with the Constitution when I was a junior in high school. If you go back to my high school yearbook, if anybody can ever find one, I put as my goal constitutional law. I wrote an article for the school newspaper where I attacked some right-wing organizations and the principal censored it. I realized how important the First Amendment right of free speech and press was. Realized that if, if at all possible, constitutional law would be my future. My senior thesis at Harvard Law School, I decided to write that commercial advertising deserved First Amendment protection as a matter of First Amendment theory. And nobody had ever suggested that. I mean, people laughed, people shoved me into the lockers, and that was just the professors. I wanted to impact the shaping of the law, and I knew when I started was going to be my, my wedge into academia. There are many great things about Northwestern Law School, but far and away the greatest is our senior research program, where students get 12 hours of credit for doing a collaborative project with the professor, and the professor can only do two of these at most. You can often see a student thanked as a research assistant in one article, and two years later, they're my co-author. In fact, I was doing Zoom with a student who's doing research with me, and he had an insight that built on something I had said, and I almost went nuts. I said, yes, yes, that's it, we, we've got it. And it becomes almost a lifelong connection because we stay in touch. This organic symbiotic intersection between my practice, my scholarship, and my teaching. I remember once I was working with a big law firm in their appellate department. The appellate department is the elite intellectuals. And I was working on a big case and with a room of four people, and I looked back and said, three of those were my former students. That's what it's all about. <laughs>